Well, hello, my sweet friends, and welcome to today's video. Today, we are going to be looking at everything that I have in, packed in my cruise cabin bag. Our cruise is right around the corner, so I have started gathering things, uh, marking things off my list, putting things in the appropriate bags so that we stay organized on our vacation and our cabin doesn't look like a hoarder's nightmare because nobody wants that. <laughs> At least I don't. I can't rest if things are just all askew. Everything has to be neat in its place and have a place. So that's why I kind of categorize things and I put them into certain bags so we're never scouring trying to find what we're looking for. And I know a lot of you had asked for um, videos with travel and things like that. So this is going to be the first video in my cruise cabin uh, toiletry bag, makeup bag, um, just little odds and ends that you can bring on any vacation really. But I have a special surprise today. So today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. So I was so excited that Ana Luisa reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to share some pieces, which they sent to me, and that I would share them with you. So I was so excited. I've seen so many other YouTubers and Instagrammers share their pieces. So I was so excited because I always loved them. And as always, I always give an honest opinion. If somebody sends me something, that's one of the things I let them know that I'm going to give an honest opinion because I would never tell you guys something was wonderful if it wasn't. Um, my integrity is very important to me. And that's why I am so excited that they sent me a few pieces and I've worn them and I love them. So I'm so excited to be sharing them with you. I will have their website linked down below. I also have a link for a percentage off. If you guys were interested in purchasing them, I'll leave the code right here too. And everything will be in the description box down below. And with Mother's Day right around the corner, what a perfect way to surprise your mom you know, with some pieces of jewelry because you can never go wrong with jewelry. And not only are their pieces very beautiful, which I'm wearing some and I'm going to show you, but when they come, um, each piece has its own little bag. So when you give them, they have this their own little safekeeping bag that snaps, which is always wonderful because then you can keep these like in your jewelry drawer or somewhere and they always stay protected. You always know where they you know, are, you don't have to worry about them getting tangled with something else. And I love to have um, separate baggies for things. So they sent me three pieces and these are the bags they came in. And the first piece is this beautiful gold dome ring. And I absolutely love it. I think it is just so pretty, so detailed. You can tell by wearing it that it's very, very good quality, which I always look for. And they also come with a two year warranty, which is wonderful. So this is the first piece. The second piece is this beautiful necklace. And I just got a plain necklace, but you could always add a charm or something like that to it if you want to. And it's just so beautiful. It's very lightweight, very dainty, yet I feel like I could wear it every day without a problem. You know how sometimes jewelry is very dainty and you don't want to wear it all the time, but this piece I definitely would. Then as you can see, the third piece they sent me were these beautiful earrings. They have this piece on the bottom that dangles. They're very light on your ears, which I love because I have very small ears. And for some reason, heavy earrings drag them down. So I can't wear a heavy earring. But these ones are just so beautiful. And I thought, you know, sharing them for, with you for Mother's Day and also sharing them because I'm going to be bringing these pieces on our cruise. And then I'll also be sharing them in my outfits of the day. So my plan is to, you know, do an outfit of the day and then you will be seeing these pieces on my vacation. So I'm so excited to share them with you. And thank you, Ana Luisa, for reaching out to me and sending me these beautiful pieces and also sending me a discount code and providing me with links so that everybody who wants to shop for Mother's Day, if you haven't yet, these are great gifts. Or ladies, if you're a mom or not a mom and you want to surprise yourself with something, I would totally buy these. And I will be purchasing more pieces on my own. Um, and they are just so, so, so pretty. And like I said, you know, the lightweight of the necklace, the lightweight of the earrings is very important to me as I can't wear. You never see me wear long dangling earrings because they pull my ear down. But these ones do not. So I love them. So thank you again, Anna Luisa. And all their information will be listed below. Okay, now we're getting into the nitty gritty of my cruise cabin bag. 
So first let's start with the bag. And this is the bag and I purchased it from Amazon, obviously. Amazon is my life. <laughs> and it folds up really nice. It'll fit in our suitcase very easily. And then it has this hook so that we are in our cabin. We can just hang this up if we want to. And I probably will hang it up. Um, I know a lot of people bring magnetic hooks and I'll probably put two or three in here. I haven't added those those yet. Um, and you can just hang it up and then it dangles down and you can get anything you're looking for out of it. So now let's get into the bones of this bag. So as you can see, it unfolds, oops, hit <laughs> the dust, but it's got four separate sections and it hangs up so easy. And I like the fact that it's see-through. So if you did want to keep things in it and you don't want to unpack them, you can see exactly what you have. So in this first pouch, now on cruise ships, uh, most people prepay their gratuities. It's kind of added in your crew. I keep looking at the earrings. I'm sorry. I just love them. Um, you always pay your gratuities up front, but you know, they don't get paid a whole lot and they work very hard. If you've ever been on a cruise, these people work night and day and they are just polite and they're happy and they just make your vacation so wonderful. So what we do is I bring these and I got the, I think I got mostly everything off Amazon so I can share them, but I got little thank you cards. So for the people who have made my vacation extra special, like your room steward or stewardess, um, certain bartenders, certain wait staff, um, the washy washy guy, as you know, I posted him in a video. He was so funny, but just anybody who brings a smile to your face and really you feel has gone above and beyond their call of duty. So I will always put cash in one of these envelopes. And I also have, um, you know, the envelopes that go with it. And then they come also with, whoops, I dropped it. Comes with like little thank you tabs so you can close the envelope. And I usually, we usually pass them out um, either next to the last day or the last day um, to all of the staff who has made our vacation wonderful. The next thing you always want to travel with um, and I keep them in my purse, I have them in my carry-on, I have them everywhere, are pens and highlighters. You just never know where you're going to need a pen to fill something out. Um, and the highlighters are great. So in your cruise cabin every day, or every night rather, you'll get an itinerary, and you'll have one in your room as soon as you get on the ship, an itinerary of the next day's events. So what we do is, like when we get in, in the cabin at night, we'll look at the itinerary for the next day. And anybody who knows us, we're at the pool all day. <laughs> but... Um, it's nice to know like the goings on at the pool or if somebody's having like a special, like, um, I don't want to say like lunch buffet or something like that. There's like bingo going on. There's all different kinds of activities at night. And I know lots of times we have missed something cause we forgot. So this time we're not going to forget. So I'm going to bring the itinerary with me when we leave the cabin all the time. But I brought highlighters so I can highlight all the activities or, you know, special things that they have going on in the foyer or wherever. Not the foyer. Um, why can't I think of the name of it? The atrium. The atrium. So they'll have all kinds of activities there. You don't want to miss something fun like the dating game or um, dance contests or something like that. So we bring these and then we just highlight everything we want to see. And I always bring a few and have a couple extras just in case. So that's what's in this first pouch. The second pouch is right here. And I'll tell you what I have in there. So in here I have, so I have just like a little stand um, to put my phone on at night. Um, if I wanna put it somewhere, you know, I'll just like kind of drop it down and plop my phone on it. So that's always handy to have. And then I got two of these. And I think I shared these before in one of the um, videos I had shared, but I don't like the little key card um, lanyards that they give because ladies, you know, with nails, it's always hard to get the card in and out. And I am just so tired of that. And I'm always afraid, you know, I'm going to break my nail. I'm going to have to go to the salon here and pay $30 for a nail or whatever it is. So I'm just not going to let that happen. So on Amazon, they have these lanyards. They're called lockers. And they just kind of slide open here and it just pops open. So you could fit your card in there. If you do want to carry cash around to tip anybody um, or anything like that, your um, 
key card is your credit card on the ship. So everything gets charged to your room because um, you keep a credit card on file. But this is great too if you're going to go on an excursion or if you're just going to go into a, you know, one of the ports and shop or whatever, you know, you can put your key card in here, a credit card, some cash, whatever. And then it closes so easily and like that. And then this way I'm never having to try to get the card out because you can't just give it to them in a landlord, in a landlord, in a lanyard <laughs> um, to swipe it, you know, for drinks or whatever. You have to actually take it out. So this I think is just such a better option. And then in here, and I shared this before too, so on most cruise ships, all the straws are paper and I hate paper straws. So this is a foldable straw that comes in this cute little case and you have your own straw. And I don't wanna like take it all out because I just got it all back in there. And it also comes with a little cleaning brush so you can clean it at night. And then this way, when I have a drink, I can always use my own straw because I always have it with me. And my husband didn't want one of those. So I got him a locker too. Um, but I just have an extra straw right here for him. So if you don't want to be fighting with a lanyard and your nails and risk a break at sea, I would highly recommend getting one of these. I don't think with guys they really care, but I think us ladies would prefer something like that. So that's everything that's in my second pouch. Now we're getting... It's the third, I guess it's the pink pouch because everything in there happens to be pink. I didn't plan it that way. That's just the way it turned out. So the first thing I have in here, and you should always travel with these, is extra baggies. Now you never know when these would come into fruition that you would need, but I have different sizes. I have a gallon one. I have little ones. Um, if you are going home and like your bathing suit is still wet or any clothes that are damp, or maybe you're bringing something home and you just want to put it in a bag. I don't know, but there's so many different uses for these that it's always good to carry some. So I always carry some bags with me. And then I have to have a fan. And I know with Norwegian, um, we're going on the Norwegian Escape, if I didn't mention it, you can't bring like plug-in fans, but you can have little fans. So I, have, I got this little fan, it's got a little charger, which I keep, um, then I can charge it and then I can put it just next to my bed at night. I need a fan on me and I need the noise of a fan. I don't sleep well without it. I've tried to like open the, uh, cause we always get a balcony room. So I open the door a little bit and sometimes the sound of the ship helps. I'm just one of those people, I need a fan. So, you know, pick this little one up. I haven't charged it yet or used it yet, but I thought this was like perfect size. On the Escape, they have the little USB ports on the light next to your bed. So I can have it plugged in and blowing on me all night long. Very important, <laughs> very important for me. And then, I mean, I have quite a few of these, um, but it's all the, they're all the same. So in your cabin, they have hangers and they're like the wooden ones that kind of slide down like that. And I've had so many times where anything like um, with spaghetti straps will slide off or I have to put it around the thing and then you risk breaking it. So I found these and they fold and they have the little indents ladies for like um, any spaghetti strap tops, spaghetti strap um, dresses, anything that has like little things that you could hang up this way. That's why I have these. And I am bringing like seven of them because I would prefer to use these. And then they just close up. They're super thin. I think they came in a pack of like six or seven and they weren't expensive. I think they were like $4 or something like that. But so easy to travel with and not just cruise travel, but any travel. If you like to have these little indents for your tops or for your dresses, skirts, whatever, it's always nice to have these. So I usually give my husband the wooden ones because all his clothes hang up on there and then I keep these. So there's that bag. And you know, you can, the beauty of the cruise cabin bag is you can set it up any way that you want. Whatever is important to you that you have to have and you don't want to forget, pack it in here. Okay. So now we're going to get into the ditty gritty of the bottom. So this is where I have some bigger products. So first thing is I have right here. So I got these from actually the dollar store. They're scented trash bags. Now they always give you a trash can in your room and in the bathroom, but they don't always have a trash bag. And I don't know, I always feel bad. Like I don't want to throw something in there and then they have to clean it. Like, I, I don't know. I don't think that's right to do <laughs> for some reason, especially if you can just bring your own little trash bags. So it's, it's like a dollar and there's like 22 of them and they're rose scented. So like your dirty makeup wipes, 
um, anything like that. If you had a drink with a paper straw, like throwing your cup and stuff in there, at least they can just take the, the bag out and just wipe out the can. They don't have to like fully clean it out and stuff that's stuck to the bottom. If you're chewing gum, something like that, at least everything's in a bag that they can just remove easily. So I have that. Next thing I have right here is some Lysol spray to go because I always Lysol down the room and the remote control and all the everything. So I know they clean it very well, but no, a little backup clean doesn't hurt. Have that. And this part is nice because it has this little mesh on the bottom that keeps everything in its place. So the next thing, and I think I have two of these, but Poopery Spray, they make them all the time. Now remember, cruise quarters are very cramped and you know, you don't want scents going through the room. It's not like, you know, when you're at home and you know, the bathroom's over there and the other one's over there and you're over there and you know, it's okay. But, and like you're living in like 250, 300 square feet. So it's very, very, very small. Even a balcony cabin or wherever the bathrooms are really small, they're gonna contain a lot of scents. So you wanna make sure you bring a potpourri this way your cabin smells nice. And along those lines, um, I also have some Febreze to go fabric and I love the gain version of it. And you know, just kind of spray that through your room just to keep your room smelling fresh. And I'll do a couple sprays like every time I'm in the cabin and just freshen it up. So that's that. Then the next thing I found that was kind of cute, oh, what are these? Oh, oh yeah. So I just have some glasses wipes in here as well and I keep some in my purse too because if you're at the pool or you're in town in the port or wherever and you touch your sunglasses if you have sunscreen on your sun on your hands you're going to get them on your sunglasses and I want to be able to clean it off it gets on there because that will drive me crazy <laughs> so I always carry some I always have some handy so the next thing I found and these two items go together so I bought a couple things of Tide and this is like a little like kind of in the old days when they went to the creek or wherever to do their laundry and they had those boards to do your laundry on, I found one and then I bought some Tide so that if you want to wash out your bathing suits or your undergarments or something like that, um, you can just wash them in the sink because you can use this as a scrubber and you have your Tide and there you go. And then you just hang it up to dry. So I thought, what a great little invention. And I think I got this, I'm sure they have them on Amazon, but I think I got this on Shein and I think it was like a dollar. Um, so yeah, I grabbed one and I was like, what a great idea if I have to wash something or let's say you spilled something, you know, you don't want to just put the clothes away with the stain on it that might be on your clothes for seven or eight days. At least this way you can wash it out. So I bring some Tide and I bring some of, and I just got this, so I'm going to use it and, and we'll see how it works. So I got a couple of those in here. Um, it's not marked, but I only have one vial that I'm bringing but this is dish soap. So I have dish soap in here so that, and I will leave it by the sink in the bathroom, so that when we come in at night or whatever, cause we're going to bring like our Yeti cups, um, you know, for water or whatever. And then I also bought some that are this size that I'll be sharing with you for cocktails by the pool. So at night I can come in and I can wash out everything with actual dish, dish soap. And this is something somebody else had shared. I think her name is Megan. I'm not sure, but I think that's who it is. If I can find her video, I'll link it below so you can go see her bag because she did one too. Um, but yeah, this way, if you want to wash your cups out, because I know everybody brings their cups, you'll see them all through the ship. But did they bring palm oil? I don't know, but I am because <laughs> I've had to wash it out with hand soap before. And that's just, I don't know. I'd rather have actual dish soap to wash out my dishes. So I have that. And then I have another poopery. Um, this one's a citrus one. And I brought two because, well, hey, why not? <laughs> they were only like a dollar, a couple dollars each. So I brought another one of those. And the last thing I have in here are just some flush flushable wipes. I just have them in my bag. You never know. I mean, the whole port the whole point of this bag, I can't speak today. The whole point of the bag is you never know. So if I need some, I have some. And that is everything that was in this bag. So as you can see, we're pretty well stocked. We're ready to go. We have our thank you notes, our pens, our lockers, our straws, hanger span, and um, plastic bags. 
and then all kinds of things for the bathroom like Febreze, um, Tide, all that kind of good stuff. And then it folds up so easy. So you just fold it back up and then the snap snap back in. So I'll show it to you all snapped. And just snap both sides. There you go. And this will obviously go in my husband's suitcase because mine will be over full with clothes. <laughs> so we already know that. So yeah, so that's everything that we bring in our cruise cabin bag. Now I know many people, you know, do things certain ways. So if you have a cruise cabin bag, you know, let us know. Let us know what you would keep in it or if you would add anything to this bag. It'd be interesting to see if you guys have any other ideas or something like that that I could benefit from. Let me know down below. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again to Anna Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring this video and for giving me this beautiful jewelry that I could share. And again, all the links for everything I can link will be down below. Make sure you go over to Anna Luisa. Say hi on their Instagram as well. And remember your mom's on Mother's Day coming up. And my next video will be on Friday. And it will be, I think it's going to be another cruise video. So I have some other bags that I'm starting to pack. So I'm going to be sharing those with you as well. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.